time for the NPC guide for my Magic 6. So, I'm going to be going over all of the NPCs in my Magic 6 that you can obtain from either peasants on the map or from houses. Starting off, Greetings. we have the Windmaster, who costs 2,000 gold, and they take 20% of all gold you find. And what they do is they cast the Fly Spell for two hours once per day. Uh, obviously, I've gone over why the Fly Spell is really good, uh, basically flying over mountains and... Uh, making the game a lot faster, avoiding powerful enemies, outdoors. Um, if you don't have any air magic in your party, uh, Windmaster is really good. Um, and you can get fly at the start of the game uh, by getting a Windmaster in PC. Um, uh, when they when you get the fly spell, they're not as good, obviously, because you can just cast fly and you're just wasting gold at that point. So, uh, really good at the start to get you started, so that you can go and do a bunch of quests, get a lot of money, and then you can buy a bunch of spells. Uh, or if you don't have any air magic, uh, they're really good in that case as well. I put them at A tier. They are really good at the start, but as soon as you get fly, they're irrelevant, so... Uh, by the way, um, also, uh, I think I mentioned uh, you can get them in Dragon Sand, White Cap, or in Infested Waters in Houses. Up next we have Watermaster. They cost 1,000 gold and they take 10% of all gold you find. Uh, you can get them in Dragon Sand, Whitecap, Mire of the Damned, or Silver Cove. Then they cast the Waterwalk spell for 3 hours once per day. Uh, as I've talked about before, Waterwalk is kind of irrelevant if you have Fly. I don't know much purpose you would have to get a Watermaster over a. Windmaster, other than the fact that it costs less money. So, if you're really stingy with gold, I guess you can make a case for Watermaster in some cases, but really very little point in getting them. You can also get Waterwalk pretty early on, so not very good. They're not completely worthless, so I'll still put them at C tier, but like I, I honestly question why you would bother getting the Watermaster at all. How are you? Up next we have the Spellmaster. They cost 2,000 gold to recruit and they take 20% of all gold you find. You can get them in Dragon Sand Free Haven, Mire of the Damned, and Bootleg Bay. Uh, what they do is they, they give you a 4 point bonus in all spell skills on your characters. That includes light and dark magic. I put uh, uh, spellmasters are really powerful, especially if you pair them with a mystic, because the spell school, the spell skills actually, uh, the NPCs actually stack. So if you have a spellmaster and a mystic, you're getting a plus seven bonus to your dark magic, which uh, is going to add a crazy amount of damage. So. If you think about the Shrap Metal spell, for example, uh, that's 1 to 6 with 7 fragments at master, so uh, that would be uh, 7 to 42, I believe. Yeah, 7 to 42. With a Spellmaster and a Mystic, that becomes 49 to 294. 
that is a shitload of extra damage. That's like over a hundred extra damage on the Shrap Metal spell. Just for one character and then for four characters you're adding a shitload of damage uh, from these NPCs. So really powerful. Uh, if you have any magic party they're going to be uh, adding to your damage consistently through the entire game. Also boosting your Lloyd's Beacon duration. Uh, they're basically uh, the only uh, NPCs that you can consistently use that are going to be good throughout the entire game. I put them at S tier. Uh, um, really good. Uh, especially if you pair them with a Mystic. Up next we have the Gate Master. You can get a Gate Master in Dragon, Dragon Sand, White Cap, and Free Haven. They cost 2,000 gold and take 2,000, uh, 20% of all gold you find. Um, they cast the Town Portal spell at Master once per day. And, um, uh, gate masters are really powerful like the wind master you can get them almost immediately and that gives you access to master town portal so um, while it's pretty easy to get fly it's a little bit harder to get master town portal because of the fact that you need to get to 12 ranks in uh, water magic so the fact that you can just gate master immediately go to any like big towns like Free Haven or Silver Cove or Blackshire uh, from the start of the game that's really good you can get access to a lot of powerful items and spells immediately with this follower if you don't have any water magic for whatever reason uh, they're gonna be really good and even when you get master water magic they're not completely useless after that because they uh, you can use them to, as a like a backup in case your master water magic caster gets killed or uh, if you're in recovery mode, you can use the Gate Master as well. Uh, um, if your entire uh, party is in recovery mode and you can't, um, uh, be, you're not able to cast uh, the Town Portal spell. So they're not uh, worthless after you get Master Water Magic, and the, you're going to be getting. It's going to take a longer time to get uh, Master Water Magic than it is for the Wind Master. I'm still inclined to put them at A tier, even though they're, they're not completely useless after you get Master Water they're not really necessary or they're not really going to add very much in most cases so uh, they're A tier for me although really good early on Pleased to meet alright up next we have the instructor Instructors cost 700 gold and they take 7% of all gold you find. You can get them in Creekspire, Dragon Sand, or Mire of the Damned. And what they do is add 15% bonus to all experience that you get. Uh, I put Instructors at A tier. The extra experience is nice because you can use it to get a lot of levels early on, especially if you're like doing Armageddon a lot, 
you can get a lot of experience especially paired with a teacher uh, but what you'll find is uh, eventually the the level bonuses that you're going to get are not going to matter as much so you're, you're going to get considerably less levels the farther you get with the instructor unless you just do a bunch of farming constantly for experience um, so I put the instructors at A tier uh, the experience bonus you get is pretty good uh, they have some longevity but there are better uh, NPCs in my opinion so and and it's you can obviously do without them um, also you can get them in Creek Spire Dragon Sand and Mire the Damned uh, in houses all right so A tier for instructor and next we have the merchant the merchants cost 200 gold and they take 2% of all gold you find you can get them in Dragon Sand Free Haven or Silver Cove. They give you a six point bonus to merchant skills on all your characters. Uh, uh, like other skill NPCs, uh, it does stack. So you can get a merchant and a duper, and you're going to be getting plus 14 bonus to merchant skill, which is going to make buying a lot of spells early on really easy and it'll help with your training as well uh, I put uh, merchants at A tier they're really good uh, at for getting a lot of skills and uh, uh, spells leveled up really fast um, and being able to pay for things and sell items and get a lot of money's worth uh, they're not as useful in the late game because you, you're not worried about money at that point, but uh, really good, especially in the early game, so A tier. Especially paired with a duper, which we'll get to later. How are you? Alright, um... Hello. Up next we have the Enchanter. The Enchanter costs 1,000 gold, and they take 10% of all gold you find. You can get them in the only house NPC that's an enchanter is in Dragon Sand. And what they do is they give you uh, protection from the four elements by 20. Uh, I, I guess I'm not sure what protection it's fire air it's fire electricity cold and I'm not I, I think it's magic or it's all of them I'm not really uh, sure but uh, regardless uh, the plus 20 is actually not that bad uh, there are that's a pretty decent bonus but Obviously, you're going to get a lot more from data protection. Uh, so the plus 20 bonus isn't going to matter as much, but obviously having resistances is good. It's going to help you take a lot less damage. So I put them at B tier. Uh, it's a useful thing to have but there are obviously much better NPCs that you can get so B tier for the enchanter next we have the master healer they are the most expensive NPC in the game they cost 5,000 gold and they take 50% of all gold you find so if you have two master healers uh, you cannot get any gold from gold piles or monsters you can get them in Creek Spire, uh, Dragon Sand, and Whitecap. By the way, uh, when I say get them, I mean from houses. You can get every NPC in the game from peasants in any map. And uh, what they do is they completely heal uh, all your party to full health 
and heal all status effects, which includes death and eradication. Uh, master healers are pretty good to have because, especially if you don't have any healing, uh, it's nice to be able to just heal uh, your party uh, when there are uh, like droids, like uh, terminator units, titans that will kill your characters, so if your spellcaster is killed then especially if they have the one that's casting town portal that's kind of inconvenient so uh, the master healer is pretty useful in that regard just being able to just heal your whole party uh, so I'd put them at A tier they're pretty useful uh, especially um, of just being able to just tank uh, and for for longer for your party. Um, the only downside is they don't heal spell points. So if your character, if a if a spellcaster gets it dies, then they're gonna lose all their spell points, which kind of sucks. But still pretty good. I put them at A tier. All right. So how are you? Up next we have the Trader. Uh, traders cost 100 gold and they take 1% of all gold you find. You can get them in Dragon Sand, Free Haven, or Mire the Damned. And they give you a plus 4 bonus to Merchant Skill on all your characters. Um, you already have the Merchant and the Duper. Uh, there's no point in getting the Trader. Uh, since you're going to be getting less merchant skill, the only argument that you can get for a trader over uh, the other two is that the duper has a reputation loss. Which, if you're trying to get the uh, white magic master, that's kind of inconvenient. Although, hardly much of a reason to get them. They're almost completely useless, but I would put them at C tier just because of that one use of maybe you don't want to have your reputation lowered because that might make getting Light Master a bit inconvenient. But pretty garbage uh, aside from that. Next we have the Weapons Master. You can get them in Dragon Sand or Freehaven. Um, they cost 400 gold and they take 4% of all gold you find um, and what they do is they give you a 3 point bonus to all weapon skills uh, weapons masters are garbage uh, what, what you're basically getting uh, is let's say you have like whatever uh, a spear for instance you're getting plus three armor class and plus three damage and hit. That's that's it. Not very good. Uh, there are uh, for a spellmaster, you're getting plus four to light magic, which means you're getting the same thing. Let's see, you're getting plus four to damage and hit chance and plus four armor class so you're it's already better than a uh, spellmaster is already better than the weapons master uh, even without factoring in day of the gods or light boosting items so kind of useless i guess i'd put them at c tier although they're basically worthless uh Unless you're doing like an all night party, you're not even going to notice really. And there are so many uh, other NPCs you would want anyway. So, uh, they're not completely worthless, obviously. They are giving you a bonus to damage, but it's really just not very good at all. Melee is just not, doesn't really do very much for you in 6, unfortunately. So, C tier NPC, really bad. Hello. Up next we have the banker. 
You can only get a banker from a house in Dragon Sand. They cost 1,000 gold. And they take 10% 10, 10 of all gold you find. And they give you a 20% bonus to all gold found. So that evens out to a 10% bonus to gold. Uh, uh, bankers can be pretty useful in racking up a lot of money. If you go and just gather a bunch of gold, you can get an insane amount of money. Uh, in the late game, they're again pretty useless, and um, it, it, the the bonuses that you get are a lot more slow than the immediate bonuses that you're going to get for uh, merchant. So they're not as good, in my opinion. I put them at B tier. Uh, they can get you a lot of money and in the in the long run, but by the end of the game you probably uh, are not going to notice uh, at all. So, B tier for the banker. And then we have the barrister, which you can recruit in a house in Dragon Sand or Silver Cove and... They cost 300 gold and three and take 3% of all gold you find. And uh, what they do is is that they give you an 8 point bonus to diplomacy skill on all your characters. This is completely worthless. As I've said, diplomacy is a completely worthless skill. RP tier. There's no reason you should get a barrister at all. And if you're getting a barrister, then, like, why even... Like, the whole point is so that you don't lose reputation from NPC. So you're buying an NPC just so you can make it so you don't lose reputation. It's just, like, really dumb. Uh, there's no reason to get them at all. RP tier. Completely useless. Alright, so that's going to do it for the uh, all the NPCs in this area. Okay, so How next we have the Gypsy. The Gypsy can be obtained in Whitecap or Silver Cove. Uh, they cost 100 gold, and they take 1% of all gold you find. And what they... They, they give you a, a bunch of uh, different effects. They give you... They reduce your food cost. They give you bonus to merchants. They And they also reduce your reputation by one category. Like I said, with the trader uh, having a merchant that's uh, even... That's worse than the merchant and duper is completely pointless. They also give you, in addition to being a shittier merchant, they also give you uh, a bo uh, penalty to reputation, which is going to make getting a light magic uh, harder. Uh, you can't have them in the party. Uh, I put Gypsy at RP tier. They're they're completely worthless. Just get a duper and a merchant. There's no reason to get a gypsy whatsoever, other than for RP reasons. How are you? And next we have the negotiator. Uh, you can get a negotiator in Creekspire or Whitecap. They cost 500 gold and they take 5% of all gold you find, and they give you a bonus to merchant and diplomacy skills by four points. Uh, like I said, with the Gypsy, they're completely useless. You should just get a uh, a Merchant and Duper. There's no reason to get a Negotiator. And even if you're worried about the reputation, you should just get a Trader because the Diplomacy skill is completely worthless. You're just wasting gold by getting this guy. Completely useless. RP tier. Hello. Next, we have the peasant, and uh, this is a, a NPC that uh, these are NPCs that don't give you anything. 
uh, they cost one gold and they take one gold for every th gold thing that you find basically so basically I'm just gonna mention list off all the NPCs Im immediately because they're all RP tier obviously peasant surf laborer tailor potter clerk farmer weaver cooper cobbler noble miller follower of Ba, gambler missionary guard scribe hunter rustler beggar trapper jester ditch digger and child which I don't think you can actually get in your party without glitches but you can I think that's something that you could do like abduct a child so that you can like murder dragons with shrap metal uh, while there's watching um, for, uh, if you're into that but there's no uh, game a benefit to getting any of these NPCs they literally do nothing um, RP tier obviously Hello. Up next, we. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the surf. Hello. We already went over that. Hello. Up next, we have the burglar. Uh, the burglar uh, costs nothing. And. Um, you can get them in a white cap or mist. Uh, they give you a bonus to disarm trap by 8. And they decrease your de reputation by a full category, and they also uh, steal your money. I think it's 20%, although you, you aren't going to be able to see it. Um, uh, dis uh, disarming traps is kind of useful uh, early on, but if you have telekinesis, the disarming is not very relevant. They lose their use pretty quickly. Uh, but they do kind of have some worth in the very early game so I would put them at B tier maybe a little bit high but there are a lot of chests that you can get very early on and if you don't have the money to get telekinesis immediately then uh, having being able to open the a lot of early chests can be useful uh, when paired with a locksmith which is giving you a plus 14 bonus so B tier has some uses but that they're gonna run out pretty quickly okay Greetings. up next we have the duper the duper costs 200 gold and they take 2% of all gold you find oh by the way um, the burglar how are you you can get in white cap and mist in a house and the duper hello you can get in a house in white cap or free haven again 200 gold to cost and two percent of all gold you find and they give you a plus eight bonus to merchant and your reputation is decreased by a category uh, the merchant bonus that you get from duper is really good going to help you a lot in getting a lot of spells very early on like Void's Beacon or Telekinesis paired with a merchant. Uh, really good early on. Later on, not very good. Don't really need them, but in the early game you can get a lot of uh, good items and get uh, save a lot of money with uh, a duper paired with a merchant. So A tier. Hello. Okay. How are you? Up next we have the pirate. You can get a pirate in a house in white cap or mist. It costs 500 gold and they take 5% of all gold you find. Um. Uh, and what they do is they give you a bunch of skills that aren't really all that good they give you boat travel reduction reducing gold I mean uh, getting a plus 10 bonus to gold which evens out to 5% so they're giving you 5% gold and they decrease your reputation by full category 
Uh, the boat travel doesn't really matter. Um, the bo gold bonus, uh, there's already a factor in the game. There's no reason to get the pirate. They're completely worthless. Decreasing your reputation by a category, not really worth it. I put them at RP tier. They're completely useless. If you want to get more money, you can get a banker and possibly a factor, I think. But there's no reason to get the pirate RP tier. All right, so there was a, a How are you? Yeah. Explorer over here. Uh, we have the Explorer. Um, you can get them. The, the only uh, house that has them is Whitecap, and they give you. Uh, they they, uh, they cost a hundred gold, and they c they take one percent of all gold you find. And all travel times are reduced by one day, including uh, boat travel. Uh, Stables travel, land travel. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of these travel reduction NPCs. They're barely useful unless you're doing like some stupid, uh, like trying to beat the game in the least amount of days kind of thing. But uh, I guess time does matter in the sense that like there are specific shrines that are monthly and. There are quests that, um, like the Druid promotion, which you can only do on a specific days of the year, so maybe you might use them so that you can get the quest done uh, at, a, at the correct date. There's really not very much use for them at all. I'm still going to put them at C tier, but they're basically worthless in my opinion uh, don't really bother with them at all finest see a tight wad well I never how are you up next we have the squire you can get a squire in a house in Whitecap or bootleg Bay uh, they cost 600 gold and they take six percent of all gold you find and they give you a bonus to all weapon and armor skills so again, like I said, with uh, the Weapons Master, the bonuses that you get are really weak. You're, we're talking like, you know, plus two damage and shit. And then uh, for armor, you're getting plus two armor class. So two damage, two bonus to hit, two armor class. Um, not including like you know the spear which I guess is giving you plus two big deal or you're if you have a shield then you're getting a little bit more you're getting that six at, in addition to, to the two from the armor so you're getting plus eight not still not very good still not worth it I put them at C tier they have some use they, they do do something for you but it's not very good uh, I would skip them entirely I think there is Hello. one more. Yep, a psychic. Uh, you can get the psychic in a house in Whitecap, Mire of the Damned, or Mist. And what they do is they give you a plus five bonus to perception and a plus ten bonus to luck. And they take. Yeah, they cost 400 and they take 4% of all gold you find. So. Luck is kind of useful, useful, but it's so low that it, it's not going to matter all that much. It's like you're probably talking like a plus two, maybe three bonus at best. Um, and then the perception I've already talked about being uh, uh, almost completely worthless. The only ar uh, argument that you could make for a psychic is you can use them in the temple, uh, spear temple bar, and you don't have to put any points into perception. So you can save nine skill points for having this dude in the party. Not really any use beyond that. 
because perception is completely worthless other than that so if you really wanted to save skill points you can use them there and the tiny luck bonus might be useful in some cases so I would put them at C tier but they're really not very good all right so uh, that should be all of them there All right, on to Silver Cove. Okay, up Hello. next we have the Chimney Sweep. You can get Chimney Sweeps in houses in Silver Cove. They cost 200 gold and they take 2% of all gold you find. And what they do is give you 20, 20 point bonus to the luck statistic for all your characters. And, um, I mentioned before that the stat bonuses is not going to be all that great. You're talking like a few points in luck bonus at most um, with that being said luck d is going to give you some help with resistances resisting status effects uh, resisting damage so it, it is a positive benefit but it doesn't have much the bonus that you get is kind of weak still so uh, when paired with the Psychic, you get plus 30. That's still not all that great. I put them at C tier. Uh, the bonus isn't useless, but it's not particularly great either. Alright, next we Greetings. have the Porter. You can get Porters and Houses in Silver Cove and uh, Houses in Silver Cove and Mire the Damned. They cost 100 gold and they take 1% of all gold you find. What they do is it costs one less day of food when camping. A minimum of a one, so it costs like two food most of the time in a lot of areas. Uh, in dungeons uh, it's always two food, so you can save one food, which I mean, that's you don't have to go to the tavern as much basically that's all it is it's pretty easy to get food in this game but I guess there that is a little bit of a benefit you can get 60 food and then uh, you save time restocking that's basically it uh, it's not completely worthless but it's not particularly great I put it at C tier I'm being really generous with some of these ratings but there are a lot of uh, NPCs that are completely useless, so at least it gives you something, so I'll put it at C tier. How are you? Pleased next, to meet you. Up next we have the locksmith. You can get you, you can only get a locksmith in a house in Silver Cove. Uh, they cost three hundred gold and they take three percent of all gold you find. They give you a six point bonus to storm traps. So paired with a burglar, you're you're at 14 or 15 disarm trap which um, is gonna allow you to open a lot of early game chests uh, which can be useful but again eventually you can get TK so it's not all that important plus you know you can also just tank the damage more than likely but it can be useful early on so I'd still put them at B tier along with the burglar useful but they lose their use very early on how are you um, pleased to meet you up next we have the expert healer you can get expert healer in house in silver cove or creek spire they cost 2000 gold and they take two, 20 percent of all gold you find and what they do is that they heal your entire party uh, to full health and they also cure any conditions except for dead stone and eradicated uh, once per day um, they're not going to heal like the, the death eradication like the master healers will, will but if you just want to get uh, a reese restocking you, you know a, a refill on your party then it, they're gonna do a pretty good job uh, I put them at B tier they definitely have uses but they're not quite as good as 
the master healer. Uh, if you don't want to completely be shut out of getting money, then if you just want to go all in on a healer party, I mean a healer NPCs, you have to settle for the expert healer though over the master healer because if you have two master healers you're not getting any gold so you have to settle for the expert healer um, but I'd still put them at B tier for the, for uh, just getting the being able to just heal your uh, heal, get to full health immediately Um, which, especially if you're playing like any melee heavy party, that's going to be very important. Especially if you can't like town portal uh, to areas. So, fairly good, but not as good as the master healers in my opinion. So, they're at B tier for me. Greetings. Hello. That one. How are you? All right. Up next, we have the horseman. You can get a horseman in a house in Blackshire or Silver Cove. They cost 100 gold and they take 1% of all gold you find. And what they do is, is that they reduce the day, to the t time and days, uh, when going through stables. So, at, with to a minimum of one day. So, again, if you're trying to get some quest done like you're trying to get the some time specific thing like the druid promotion or wh whatever the shrine then that's basically all they they accomplish almost completely useless other than that but I'll still put them at C tier for the just like the explorers uh, if you're really concerned about um, getting to areas uh, as quickly as possible. Maybe also if you're worried about respawning. Although I don't really know why you would, but uh, very niche uses, but I guess there is some use. Um, How are you? This is another useless NPC. Hello. Up next we have the Bard. Uh, you can get barred in houses in Whitecap, Freehaven, Silver Cove, or Bootleg Bay. They cost a thousand gold, and they take 10% of all gold you find. What they do is they give you a single category bonus to your reputation. A uh, reputation doesn't really do anything except for getting a Light Master, which, if you're low on reputation and you, you can't finish or you've gone through most of the quest for whatever reason and you know you need that extra boost to get the light master I guess you can make an argument for Bart I mean it's really very very unlikely that you're ever going to use them but for that one specific purpose I guess you can say they accomplished something so I put them at C tier although for all intents and purposes they're pretty worthless so Uh How are you? Uh, there was How are you? Hello. There that there was How are uh, you? Oh, here we go. Up next we have the the cartographer which you can get in houses in Whitecap or Silver Cove. They cost 200 gold and they take 2% of all gold you find. And what they do is they cast the Wizard Eye spell at expert level at all times. And that's it. Spell that you get at the beginning of the game. Not very useful, obviously. Uh, only niche use is it for specific parties if you don't have any air magic, obviously. Being able to see shit maybe is important. Um, uh, if you really want to find out where items are before you get 
expert error because you don't want to bother uh, exploiting uh, the glitch where you can get the uh, error uh, expert on the floor and on the ground in uh, New Starbrigal. Not much use beyond that. C tier NPC. Hello. Uh, and I think there was an arms master Hello. here as well. Pleased to meet you. There we go. Um, next we have the arms master. Uh, you can get them in houses in Blackshire, Mire the Damned, or Silver Cove. They cost 300 gold, and they take 3% of all gold you find. And they give you a 2-point bonus to weapon skills for all characters. I've already gone over this before. You're just getting a few extra points in damage, in weapons, that's it. You're barely going to notice C-tier NPC. Moving on. Pleased to meet you. How are you? How are you? Greetings. Uh, and then there was How I had Acolyte. Greetings. Here we go. Next we have the Alkalite. Uh, you can get them in houses in Whitecap, Freehaven, or Silver Cove, and they cost 200 gold. Take 2% of all gold you find. And what they do is they cast the Blessed Spell at Master Ranking once per day for a duration of 2 hours. There's no need to cast Bless if you already have spell and you have uh, hour of power if you have an all night party I guess you can get a better hit chance but it's like well it's at master so well, I think it's I think it's a plus 10 I'm pretty sure it's plus 10 In fact, I, I can probably check right now. Uh, seven Greetings. Nine. Oh, I, I didn't do that right. Uh, whatever. Um, so, uh, you'd have to see, uh, because I forgot. But it's not going to be all that great. But it is going to give you a bonus in the very niche case that you do not have expert bless or uh, hour of power so I put that at C tier barely useful but depending on what party you have maybe it has some use how are you and next we have the fool uh, which you can get in a house in Creekspire or Silver Cove they cost 100 gold and they take 1% of all gold you find and they give you a five point bonus to luck on all your characters. That is a really tiny uh, bonus. Uh, you can get like 15 immediately plus the shrine. You're getting after that a five. You're getting one, one bonus to luck w with the fool. And if you get five then you're not getting any bonus. And uh, if you wanted luck, you can get the Chimney Suite paired with the Psychic, and you would be getting 30 luck. There's no reason to get the Fool. Fool is an RP tier NPC. RP only uh, NPC. Moving on. Alright, so next we Hello. have the Scholar. Uh, the Scholar, you can get in a house in Paradise Valley, Creek Spire, or New Sorbigal. They cost 500 gold, and they take 5% of all gold you, you find. And what they do is they give you unlimited ID item. And they also say that you give you a 5% bonus to experience. I'm pretty sure this isn't the case. You don't get any bonus, but the... Being able to identify anything is very convenient, um, especially if you don't want to put the points since it's like seven. So that that's a fair amount of skill points. You, you can have it on your whole party. Um, pretty useful. 
Although if you get the ID item, or uh, if you just don't want to bother identifying anything, then Scholar doesn't really have much use. But if you uh, want to avoid getting uh, ID item, then they're definitely useful in that respect. So I would put them at A tier just for that. Um, by the way, you can... Did I mention that uh, uh, you can get the Scholar in Paradise Valley, Creek Spire, or New Serpigal House? Moving on to the Alchemist. To meet you. Uh, the Alchemist, you can get in the house in Dragon Sand or Creek Spire. It costs 400 gold, and they take 4% of all gold that you find. And they give you unlimited magic item repair. This isn't quite true. They don't. They don't repair gauntlets or helmets or belts. They can repair boots, rings, and amulets. Um, alchemists are pretty good um, if you're going a spellcaster party, especially. Uh, repairing is very annoying. Especially since uh, if you want it to be most convenient, you want to get it on your whole party, which is obviously a lot of skill points that you have to put into. So if you're going with a spellcaster party, you don't don't give a shit about weapons. Uh, you can get an alchemist and an armor and just repair anything that you care about. And you can even make a case that you don't even need to bother with armor. All, all you, you would really care about is the spell boosting items which he can repair so uh, definitely good in that respect if you don't want to bother putting any points into repair they're they're fairly good I would put them at A tier up next we have how are you the Oh uh, well, let me find them first. I just web see you, cheapskate. Hello. Up next we have the guide. Well, I never. Uh, you can get them in a house in Paradise Valley or Creek Spire. Oh, uh, um, my notes are wrong. Uh, Alchemist, you can only get in Paradise Valley or Creek Spire, obviously, since you're in we're in Paradise Valley right now, so. Uh, the guide you can only get in Paradise Valley and Creek Spire as well. They cost uh, 100 gold and they take 1% of all gold you find and they make all map crossings one day faster. Uh, guides are completely worthless because you already have the Explorer which is giving you an extra bonus and since the map crossings are a minimum of one day uh, if you have a Pathfinder plus an Explorer, you're getting as much land reduc land uh, time reduction as you're going to get with one, so there's no point in getting the guide. So uh, I put them at RP tier, completely worthless. How are you? Next we have the tracker, and uh, we're just going to blaze through these because they're basically all the same. So the tracker, uh, you can get the in house in Paradise Valley, Creek Spire, or Silver Cove. They cost 200 gold, and they take 2% of all gold you find. And it's the same thing as the guide, except it makes map crossings two days faster. Like I said, completely useless if you get the Pathfinder plus Explorer. So completely worthless. RP tier. How are you? And finally, we have Greetings. the Pathfinder. Um, which you can get in the house in Paradise Valley or Creek Spire and they cost 300 gold and they take 3% of all gold you find and they make map crossings 3 days faster so this is the best uh, map crossing uh, NPC that you can get for all that's worth you save some time again I already talked about unless you're really sh hurting for time doing sh shit so that you don't miss like a quest or whatever the shrine uh, 
almost completely worthless. I put them at C tier. That's a strong case could be made for RP tier, but I'm being more uh, generous with these rankings, to be honest. But uh, for you know one, uh, specific niche uses, you can get something out of them at least. So C tier. How are you? All right, there's the. Pleased to meet you. Next, we have the cook. Uh, you can get a cook in a house in Paradise Valley, Black Shore, or Meyer the Damned. What they do is they make one day of food per day. Well, they cost 300 gold, and they take 3% of all gold you find, and they make one day of food per day with a maximum of 14 days. Since you need to have at most 14 days of food, they're completely worthless since a lot of the taverns are... Or th there are taverns that give you 60 food, 30 food, and you you would have to like use a lot of that food before you get use out of it. So you're basically uh, at that point just you might as well just go like you're just wasting uh, gold for when they can't do anything. So worthless NPC. They're RP tier. No reason to get them at all. Um, Let's see. Hello. Pleased to meet you. I, th I don't think there's any houses. How are you? We we'll just look. How are you? Yeah, this is. Greetings. Yeah, so they're probably over here. Pleased to meet you. Uh, there was a healer Hello. somewhere. Let me try and find him. What the fuck, dude? Oh, that's that's not a house. Well, shit. Where the fuck's the How healer? Are you? Okay, here we go. Up next, we have the healer. Um, you can get a healer in a house in Paradise Valley or New Supergold. They cost 500 gold, and they take 5% of all gold you find, and they heal your entire party. They don't heal any status effects, including unconscious. So let's say you have unconscious characters that heal your entire party. Uh, to full health, but they do not heal the unconscious, so that you have to drink a potion so that they can be conscious, in which case they would have be at full health. Healers kind of ser serve the same purpose as expert healers in that you can use them just to uh, refill your health for your party without spending as much money, so I put them at B tier for that reason. Still can have some uses in some cases, so uh, B tier NPC, along with the expert healer. Pleased to meet you. Up next we have the navigator. You get a navigator in a house in Paradise Valley or Eel Infested Waters, and they cost 200 gold and take 2% of all gold you find, and they make boat travel three days faster minimum of one day. Same thing with the explorers and the uh, uh, pathfinders. Very niche use, but you can use it to save some in-game time, so C tier. Almost completely worthless, but I guess there's one... there's some very niche use for it, so... Pleased to meet you. Hello. Up next we have the sailor. Uh, you can get a sailor in a house in Paradise Valley or Mist. They cost 100 gold and they take 1% of all gold you find. And they make all boat travel two days faster with a minimum of one day. Again, same thing what I said with the navigator. Very specific, only specific uses to save in-game time which you may need if you want to do a quest fast enough, so C tier. Aside from a fair few uh, unlikely uses, you're not going to get any use out of these guys, so largely garbage, but whatever. Alright, so now we do the Free Haven one. How are you? Up next we have the chef. 
You get a chef in a house in Blackshire or Freehaven. They cost 400 gold, and they take 4% on gold you find, and they make 2 days of food per day, again with a maximum of 14 days, since it's 14 up to 14 days. If you have more than 14 food, you're not getting anything out of them. You're just wasting your gold. They're an RP tier, just like the cooks. Moving on. Alright, so... I think... Like there was a mystic somewhere. We'll get to How him in you? a minute. Okay, there's the quartermaster. Greetings. Up next we have the mystic. Um, you can get a mystic in a house in Freehaven or mist. Uh, they cost a thousand gold and they take ten percent of all gold you find, and they give you a three point bonus to all spell skills, including light and dark magic. You can stack this with a Spellmaster and give yourself 7 point bonus to all spells for your entire party. Really buff out your damage. S tier NPC all the way. You get a fairly powerful uh, uh, damage really early on. Really good. S tier uh NPC Pleased to meet you. All right. Oh, I'm getting slow down. That's going to be inconvenient. Um up next we have the quartermaster. You can get quartermaster in the house in Freehaven or Silver Cove. Um they cost 200 gold and they take 2% of all gold that you find. And what they do is they make 2 days uh, a food less when camping uh, with a minimum of one. Um, the problem with this is there are areas that that cost more food, but in more often than not, you can you can go to a shoreline and get it reduced to two, and at that point uh, you can get the other NPC, which I already forgot what they were but you can get them and there's no reason to get the quartermaster so I put them at RP tier you're basically getting nothing out of them whatsoever it's very easy to get go to a part where you can get two food in which case you're not saving anything because it's only a minimum of one so you might as well get the other person uh, which I can't even remember what they were called again, but you can get that guy and uh, save you some gold. So, RP tier uh, NPC. Now we have the. Pleased to meet you. That wasn't this guy. Uh, where was he? was this dude greetings here we go up next we have the scout uh, the scout you can get in the house in Freehaven or Meyer the Damned they cost 300 gold and they take 3% of all gold you find and what they do is they give you a 6 point bonus to perception skill so uh, the scout um, is basically giving you the same bonus to uh, perception as the psychic in in that you can uh, click on the superior temple ball um, doors but uh, the psychic also accomplishes that also but uh, you also get a 10 point luck bonus so uh, the only benefit maybe is y it costs less gold so I guess there's that I guess if again, if you specifically don't want to waste the 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 nine skill or the yeah the four skill points that you put into 
perception so that you can go in with a scout and not have to worry and just open the chests with I mean, open the doors without having to spend any skill points you can use the scout aside from that completely worthless uh, C tier aside from that very specific use they're completely worthless um, and uh, Pleased to finally meet you. for the free haven uh, we have to talk about the carpenter and the stone cutter Pleased to meet you which don't do anything like the classes that I mentioned earlier uh, the NPCs that I mentioned earlier like the peasants but they are used for a specific quest so that you can get the uh, priest promotion and obviously if you have a if you want the quest and you get the promotion that's experience and also if you have a cleric then that's going to boost their spell points and hit points by quite a bit so obviously very important to finish the quest obviously they're completely worthless outside of that specific um, uh, goal of getting uh, the promotion so uh, basically uh, it's obviously you know S tier in the sense that you, you get the promotion to the cleric but uh, RP tier in every other respect I guess I'll just put them at R, uh, at X tier a uh, very specific use for them that's required to complete a quest but you're not using them for anything that they do so uh, X tier for the stone cutter and carpenter okay can we how are you? Up next we have the counselor. Uh, you can get counselor. Oh, and by the way, um, the stone cutter and carpenter you can get in houses and free haven. Uh, the easiest uh, to get them there, so uh, don't really need to worry about getting them in other houses. Um, up next we have the counselor. You get counselor in a house in Creekspire or Meyer the Damned. They cost 200 gold and they take 2% of all gold you find. And they give you a bonus, a 4 point bonus to diplomacy on all your characters. I've already mentioned this before. Diplomacy is completely useless. There's no reason to get this useless uh, uh, stats. Uh, and why would you even waste time uh, getting an NPC just so that you can make it easier to get other NPCs? It's just completely stupid um, RP tier obviously alright uh, I think there was a teacher Greetings. here teacher that Greetings. you can actually uh, recruit let me find him pleased to meet you greetings 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 alright well do the piper first. Up next we have the piper. You can get a piper in a house in Creekspire, Whitecap, or Meyer the Damned. And they cost 300 gold and take 3% of all gold you find. And they cast the heroine spell at Master for 2 hours once per day. Like I mentioned with the Alkalite, uh, unless you don't have any spirit magic or light magic, there's not any use for them whatsoever. Uh, and it's kind of the same thing with the... Uh, uh, the Acolyte, where uh, you're not getting... Oh, actually, you're only getting a pl the plus five bonus, so... Or even worse. Um, to be fair, you're getting more damage than the... Uh, uh, the the arms master or weapons master so there is that but 
Uh, aside from getting you a little bit of damage boost, uh, for a party that doesn't have any spirit or light magic, there's really not much use. I put them at C tier. Kind of garbage. Greetings. So there is a teacher Greetings. here. Here we go. Next we have the teacher. Get a teacher in a house in Creek Spire or Silver Cove. It costs 300 gold and take 3% of all gold you find, and they give you a 10% bonus to all experience learned. So you stack this with the instructor, you're getting 25% bonus. That uh, can be noticeable, especially early on. If you're fighting a shitload of monsters, you can get some extra levels from that. Uh, eventually, it's not going to be as useful, you're not getting as much, so I'd still put them at A tier. Uh, it's a nice bonus, that's basically it, which is kind of what uh, so, uh, uh, a lot of the NPCs are that are in, especially in the A tier, you know, it's a nice bonus, but uh, you can definitely uh, go without them, but they do something, I guess, that's, you know, you can get some extra levels, uh, especially if you farm a shitload of experience, so A tier along with the instructor. Greetings. Up next we have the armor. Uh, you can get armor in a house in Kriegspire or Castle Iron Fist. It costs 200 gold and take 2% of all gold you find. And they give you unlimited armor repair. Like I uh, mentioned with the alchemist, you pair him with the alchemist for a spellcaster party. You can heal. You can repair all important items, uh, and you don't have to worry about pumping uh, repair or having to go to shops to fix things. So that's useful, very convenient. I put them at A tier. Uh, they're also potentially useful for melee parties, but problem is, is that you can only take three or two NPCs and there are three weapon repairs so it's definitely more better in spellcaster parties where you don't give a shit about weapons take the armor and alchemist and you can repair anything that you give a shit about uh, without putting anything into repair skill or going to stores to repair items so B, uh, A tier for the armor, A tier NPC. How are you? And next we have the Smith, which you can only get in the house in Kriegspire, and they cost 200 gold, and they take 2% of all gold you find, and they give you unlimited weapon repair, just like, uh, well, the, just like the armor, or armor and the alchemist, except for weapons. Uh, I don't think the smith is as good because, again, weapons are not as important. And if you're doing a melee heavy party, um, you can't get all three. You can't get an alchemist and a smith and an armor, so you're missing out on something. Uh, me not being able to fix items is very annoying. Like, you can have, if you have, like, a buff caster, you're losing your light ring potentially. Uh, you're losing potentially armor class rings, so there, there's you definitely want to be able to repair that. So I don't think the smith is as good because uh, you can't uh, really benefit from it as much since you kind of want to get uh, you know just the repair skill just so you can repair everything. Uh, I mean, you can still, you know, get by if you just are just focused on weapons and armor and that's all you care about. Uh, the items don't really matter as much. Maybe you'll take the, the penalty, or maybe you don't have spellcasting rings at all and you don't really care about the, the bonuses you get from rings. I guess you can get by with it, but I don't think it's all that great. I put them at D tier. Although if you were to go a melee party and you don't want to take the time to repair, uh, get repair skill or go back to town, then it, it does have use if you're just sticking straight to melee, so 
Uh, B tier for Smiths. And uh, last batch right here. Uh, Hello. Next we have the Apprentice. Uh, you, can get a pr you can only get an Apprentice in from houses in Bootleg Bay or again from peasants on the map. Uh, they cost 500 gold and they take 5% of all gold you find. And they give you a 2 point bonus to all spell school. Uh, all your characters. Uh, so, obviously, getting spell bonus is nice, but you you already have the Mystic and the Spellmaster, which stack together. You don't need the Apprentice for anything. If you want spell bonus, you get the Mystic and Spellmaster. No reason to get the Apprentice, unless you want to save money. And that's basically the only reason, because. Uh, the Mystic and the Spellmaster are giving you the same thing, but better. So, I put Apprentice at C tier. Not quite RP tier, because it is a beneficial, and you're getting more benefit than, you know, you're probably getting more, I mean, you're definitely getting more benefit than the, you know, mo the Weapons Masters and shit, but no reason to really get them over the other, uh, the Spellmaster or Mystic, uh, aside from money, basically. So, C tier. And next we have the Factor, which uh, you can get in the house in Bootleg Bay or Blackshire. And they cost um, 500 gold, and they give you a 10% bonus to all gold found. Uh, and they take 5% of all gold you find, so that would even out to 5% bonus. Um, the math is a bit different if you have a Banker and a Factor. I, I do think they do stack, but it's not... 15% like you would think it's like I think it's like 1.1 or 1.2 or something I don't quite remember like it's pretty weird but um, uh, the banker and factor stack together I don't think is all that great um, But it does give you a little. Um, it does give you more money in the long run. But you are probably just better off just go sticking with the banker. I put them at C tier. They're not completely worthless. You can get some. Uh, it is objectively more money for factors and bankers. I think so. That's something that the. Uh, that you benefit from, but it's not very much, so I don't think it's really worth it. C tier for factors, not really all that great. And finally, we have the Tinker. I could not find a uh, a uh, Tinker NPC in any houses. The guides did not mention any uh, houses that house Tinkers. Possibly they exist, but I didn't see them. As far as I know, you can only recruit them from peasants on the map. And tinkers are basically inferior locksmiths and burglars. They give you 4 po point bonus to disarm trap. Um, they cost 200 gold and take 2% of all gold you find. There's literally no reason to take the Tinkers, aside from the fact if you're worried about the Burglar uh, lowering reputation and uh, making you uh, lose 20% uh, gold, which you might think is too steep. So that's basically all they're for. You get a plus 10 bonus. That's pretty good. It's obviously inferior to the Burglar and Locksmith, but uh, I guess... You know, you, you don't spend as much money, and like I said, the disarming thing is not going to be relevant for very long, so I put them at C tier. They're not completely worthless. They're they're like a replacement for the burglar. If you don't want to lose as much money and you're worried about your reputation loss, although, uh, to be honest, you probably aren't going to be having these NPCs by the time you get to Lightmaster, but... 
I'd put them at C tier. Not really very useful. Almost worthless, but they have enough uses to where you can make a some flimsy uh, argument for carrying them. So that's going to do it for the NPC guide. So I think I'm going to do one for seven, although that's going to be a real pain because there are no NPCs in houses. So I don't know how I'm going to structure the video. I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to show them in game or not because I would have to like farm for NPCs uh, until I get all of them and then make a shitload of saves so I don't know what I'm going to do there yet but I'll see all of you guys later.